Are you overwhelmed? Do you feel like there is so much to do and no way to accomplish it all? Many of our clients have shared that they're feeling overwhelmed, that they are trying to do the impossible in the amount of time they have each day. Clients express their feelings of frustration with never ending work days brought on by a sea of never ending messages and tasks. We've never been so disconnected in an overly connected world. Even with all of our technology information wisdom, we're pushing ourselves at a faster rate than ever before. The fast pace at which we receive information clutters our mind and creates so much noise that we are left feeling relentlessly overwhelmed and ultimately burned out. Even when these feelings are internalized, others can sense the chaos beneath the surface. It threatens our level of influence as it seeps into our messages and our body language. The energy we put forth shifts, dampening our interactions and people's perceptions of who we really are. Overcoming feeling overwhelmed requires mindful planning and open communication, but is needed to have influence in the workplace. First, on our time. We all need a break. Technology has made it far too easy to message others when a thought pops into your mind, often spilling into downtime when our minds need to decompress. If you think of something you wish to share, write it down. It will clear your mind without creating clutter for others. What you have to say can possibly wait until later that day. Second, establish boundaries. Harvard Business Review found that cognitive impact and fatigue affects our ability to organize thoughts and communicate clearly. Not only does our sanity require downtime, but our minds need it to remain sharp. Set aside specific time throughout each day to step away from the noise. Use this time to clear your mind and do something meaningful. Spend time with family or read a good book. Maybe go for a walk or listen to music. Either way, turn off the notifications, text messages and emails. They probably can wait until later. Third, say no. Overwhelm often comes from overcommitment. We set unrealistic deadlines on ourselves to complete tasks, oversaturate our calendars with meaningless meetings, and overcommit what little time we have. Consider everything on your plate. Decide what is a must do versus a nice to do. Prioritize a list and determine what you can say no to. Will you risk disappointing someone? Maybe but no level of disappointment is worth your sanity. If you want to be seen as influential, you must exude calm collectedness that honors yourself, honors others, and puts you in control of your day. If you want more information on how to enhance your influence, all you need to do is click on the link below this video. Wishing you continued influence Monday to Monday.